फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट देयर इज नॉट ओनली अ ग्रामेटिकल बट अ लीगल डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन मे बी प्रूव्ड एंड मस्ट बी और शुड बी प्रूव्ड एज वॉज हेल्ड बाय दिस कोर्ट certainly it is a primary principle that the accused must be and not merely may be guilty before a court can convict and the mental distance between may be and must be is long and divides vague conjectures from sure conclusions the facts so established should be consistent only with the hypothesis of the guilt of the accused that is to say they should not be explainable on any other hypothesis except that the accused is guilty the circumstances should be of a conclusive nature and tendency they should exclude every possible hypothesis except the one to be proved and there must be a chain of evidence so complete as not to leave any reasonable ground for the conclusion consistent with the innocence of the accused and must show that in all human probability the act must have been done by the accused we have carefully perused the evidence of pw2 who deposed that on 29 september 1993 till 9 pm the appellant and deceased consumed liquor in his house he deposed that the appellant and deceased left his house after consuming liquor he stated that the appellant and the deceased had gone towards amgaon the body of the deceased was recovered on the next day in the cross examination the pw2 stated that two to four times the appellant and the deceased had come to his place to drink liquor he stated that the deceased used to consume a lot of liquor pw6 shrimati anjana devi is the wife of the deceased who deposed that the appellant came to her house and gave a currency note of rupees 50 to the deceased and forcibly took him for drinking after that the deceased did not come back she stated that she deputed her elder son to the appellant's house where the sister in law of the appellant informed the elder son of the deceased that the appellant was sleeping in the house thereafter the appellant himself visited the house of pw6 and inquired whether his brother in law deceased had come back she deposed that at 12 noon one kotewar informed her that the dead body of her husband had been found she admitted that her husband used to drink alcohol occasionally sometimes he used to get drunk and people used to bring him back home she stated that when her husband went with the appellant she knew that they were going to drink liquor pw7 stated that the deceased was his nephew in the cross examination he accepted that the deceased and appellant always used to be together thus this was not the first occasion when the deceased and the appellant went together to consume liquor apart from being closely related they had a close contact and they used to be together for drinking the prosecution has not come out with a case that there was some motive on the part of the appellant for killing the deceased neither pw2 nor pw6 stated that on 29 september 1993 there was any dispute or altercation between the appellant and the deceased thus the deceased being in company of the appellant on 29 september 1993 was not an unusual circumstance this makes the case based on the theory of last seen together very weak in absence of motive 
Now we come to the evidence of recovery of the weapon of offence at the instance of the appellant. The first witness to the recovery memorandum under section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act 1872 is PW2. Stop.